Hey, Traveling Dad's back again. Got a cool pro tip. Oh, yeah, I'm Paul. Kip over there. <laughs> Great lean in, buddy. Yeah, I'm excited. It's all about the content, not the people delivering it. No, no. Bullshit. I'm important. Yeah. I mean, we deliver said content, so we're not unimportant. I mean, well, if, if, an, if, if he delivered said content, people would take naps. True. If I read it verbatim. It's Snoozeville. Snoozeville. Actually, this is a really fun uh, pro tip. No, this is a good pro tip. Yeah. I like this one a lot. This is your idea, actually. Yeah. So this uh, was actually not quite my idea. So I, I've been hearing from um, our gym a little bit, but okay. uh, other gyms a lot bit. <laughs> of <laughs> lot bits. Of either I don't want to roll with people that suck. Or oh, moves. yeah. That kind of comes up in a lot of the emails, too. Yeah. Like just glancing, though. Yeah. Uh, because they think it's wasting their time. So their uh, their argument would be, I can only train two or three days a week or whatever it is, minimal. So I don't want to roll with new people because I feel that wastes my precious time that I get. Or I have new people, conversely, saying, I feel guilty about wasting upper belt's time well, because th- I don't see, and we re- give them a good roll. Yeah, but we approached that before. Um, saying stop thinking you're wasting everyone's time. We have, but we keep on getting the emails for one. <laughs> yes, we do. And for two, I wanted the the benefit side of rolling with somebody that's either a noob or quite a bit lower ranking than you. Like, what's the good that can come out of it? I Mostly, feel like a fucking monster. That's why. It's really proof how great I am. It's awesome. <laughs> I feel like a goddamn black belt. It's great. It's wonderful when they suck horribly. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) I'm so good at these techniques. (laughs) Yeah, right? Look, I can do an arm bar. A sloppy one. (laughs) A sloppy, horrible one that most people will get out of. Not him. Why doesn't this work on anybody else? (laughs) Do not understand. So weird. Uh, But before we get into the pro tip of the week, we have Top Mount Apparel that you should go visit. (laughs) TopMontApparel.com. <laughs> Physically visit. Physically visit. They're yeah, somewhere just, in Illinois. Yeah. Just wander around till you find them. Yeah, for sure. Go down there. <laughs> they do vendors and stuff. It's Ooh. cool. Oh, did you see I had a little conversation with Al from Top Mount? I miss all the stuff on what Instagram. What the fuck is your problem? Dude, I don't know. Read over my conversation. I should just start clicking the thing and then looking rather than waiting until it happens to show up when I'm looking at it at the time. Yes. Yeah. Just click. Like if I get the little notification while I'm looking, otherwise you see it and then it doesn't come on. Yeah, my it phone. doesn't come on your phone. Yeah. And that's why we'll get a, I have no clue what likes we have because you seem to really want to see those. And then I don't see them. And I'm like, go back. I'm like, oh, 100 more people like that. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck happened? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll get my shit together eventually. Yeah, probably not. All right, anyway. I won't. Go. So, uh, he plans on coming up to visit. Ooh. So we got to look at some times in October. That'd be fun. Yes. Murder death. Yes. <laughs> I can see this going so much fun. Oh, gosh. I think he wants to bring some of the uh, one of his some of his buddies, too. That'd be fun. Yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah. They can beat us yeah, up, excellent. too. Oh, yeah. It'll be great. Yeah, they're going to feel really good about themselves. It'll be like rolling with noobs that we're going to talk about today. So <laughs> we're going to give you all the yeah. reasons oh, why yeah. you're going to enjoy rolling with us. Yes. It's pretty much about us. Um, asking for a friend. Uh, pretty, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, asking for a friend, exactly. But yeah, get on uh, topmountapparel.com. Check out their swag. Uh, use GD10 at checkout. They have awesome, awesome stuff. They have great cause. It's great people that really care about the community. Yeah, so. they're the, the, pu- um, pushing jujitsu forward is kind of the way I look at yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. So, very cool. Yep. Uh, you won't find many uh, owners like Al. So. Uh, he puts people above profits, which is hard to do. It is so, hard to do. So, because um, I'm greedy. Fuck you people, I want profits. <laughs> <laughs> and we have none. <laughs> right. Zeros of profits. Zeros ne- of profits. Negatives, actually. Yes, we actually got someone offered to uh, free sponsor, uh, uh, like let us free sponsor them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> free sponsor. Okay, we can afford that. I can afford that, yeah. <laughs> Done and done. Are you any good at what you do? No? Don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Put my face on your shorts. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah. Can I get your logo? Sure. It's just me and you no, no, smiling. No, no. You just don't get a the logo. Face. <laughs> you, you get a cutout of my face. <laughs> smiling. Just, just stupidly false. as I do. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Throwing up the peace sign because that's all I know how to do in pictures apparently. Apparently so. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. like black belts, all they can do is point at people. Yeah. Croiler, when I told them not to do that, pointed at me more 
Excellent. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, well, Carla Gracie, he's also involved with the show. A little bit. Uh, Pretty much everyone. Yeah. Not all of them. Not all of them, but he oh. is in most shows. He gives us our pro tips, and he would give you plenty of those. Hashtag if you pro have. novel. Yeah. yeah, it's more than like a, like a tip. <laughs> a tip is something like quippy and or quick, or yes. easy. Yes, these are um, e- anywhere from like essays to novel dissertations. If you want to get a PhD, yeah, that would be the last one. The last one I posted that finally for everyone. So Ooh. stop fucking emailing me. Sweet. Did you you didn't see that? Yeah, I posted I did. it. To, yeah, yeah. Like, when are you going to post that? I'm like, uh, I don't know how. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, be, that's uh, on Kip. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking took care of it. Thanks, Gibby. So it's a blog from no, out of nowhere. And, uh, yeah, I put it on Facebook. So if you actually followed on us, us on Facebook like you should, you would have known yeah. that. So our last episode kind of coincides with this one. Yeah, but a little you, bit. If you didn't listen to this it. This is more fun. Yeah, it's uh, it's deep. It's very, very deep. It was hard to do what we do on the show with it. Yeah. But it's great information. And we only got through. A maybe, tenth? Uh, <laughs> it yeah. was. Not not even a half. No, not half. Because no. I, I did see 3.2.2.1.1. 1. <laughs> and I wish I was fucking lying, <laughs> but that was fucking on there. 3.2.2.1.1.5. Like, wow. Wow, wow, man. Your brain's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the way that man... They wrote, made a movie yeah. about you. It was called A Beautiful <laughs> Mind. You're gonna go insane. I saw there's, the movie. There's no <laughs> slip like somebody trying to find a serial killer with all yeah, these dots does. connected. Oh, my God. If you put it up, you could put string to each one oh, of them, and dude. it would look like the universe. Dude. But anyway, it's it's uh, very helpful. It's phenomenal. It's kind of like a uh, holy shit, blow your mind amazing. Yeah, like, and we got a lot of lot yeah, of requests for yeah. it to be on the website, and our website's trash, but we did put it up there. Yeah. So Apologies. Uh, hashtag sorry, not sorry. We both have full-time jobs. Yeah, fuck. I want to fix that up so bad. Wives and kids, yada, yada. You yeah. get it. Everybody knows. You're so, a grappling dad. You understand. It's Life is tough. You're a grappling person. Yep. If person. you listen to the show, you're now a grappling dad. That's right. It's mom or not. <laughs> it's a very um, not asexual person. position. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> um, so welcome. Enjoy. 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 <laughs> Tap mom. Talking <laughs> to you. <laughs> Good looking out. <laughs> Congrats on her third strike, by the way. Yay. Go tap mom. Yes. So, yeah. So, CurlerGracie.com. Get yes. on there. Sign up for his seminar. Find out where he's going. We have one at Black Lion. Talk the shit out of September him. September 29. Get a private lesson. Do whatever it takes. Like, yeah. He is a, an absolute phenomenal teacher. We'll give you his license plate number and address soon yeah. so you can just track his ass down at home. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. We'll get no... F- <laughs> yeah. No. That'll be fine. Yeah. yeah that's I see no potential it. problems I'm here. looking ahead here. Yep. Don't see an issue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, then we got... Uh, what? Where do we train again? That would be Black Lion, sir. Hey... Dude, the kids. The Holy kids, they are fun. And they're like, going to be doing a competition soon? Dude. I'm, a lot I'm, of them are. So my kids are getting excited about that. Are they so going to do been, it? I think they are. We're, we're uh, yeah. They're, you're fencing it right now? You're on the fence? Uh, well, I'm not on the fence. So I, No, I, I know. You're totally. Yeah, I, I want them to do it. They're excited but scared. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. But uh, uh, Coach Chad has been um, utilizing more stand-up yes. and utilizing, yep. you know, um, rather than starting from your knees, hey, start standing up, mm-hmm. um, doing the, the three-minute rounds and stuff. Yep. So kind of preparing them for what's going to happen, uh, talking about it a lot. So I think they're, they're kind of getting excited now. They're not as terrified. Well, they just have to know there'll be another day. Yeah. It's, it's, just the, it's something I think every kid needs to learn. It's like you're not going to win everything. Maybe you will, but you won't know if you don't try. Right. I think you and you and I are anti competition for us. Yeah. But we're very, very pro competition. For almost like, everyone else on the oh, planet. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if if uh if you're not like a it, the whole income rests on your shoulders, so if you get screwed up, you, you, can't, you can't make that provide income. for your then family maybe, at all. Maybe don't do a competition. But uh but yeah, if you could if you could afford to, or if it's uh, yeah, if yeah. it coincides with you know whatever job you do, or it's like eh, if I break an ankle, whatever, I could just sit at my desk anyway. Yeah, exactly. Right. And no worries. But yeah, do a competition. Yeah, it's great for you. Yep. Uh, yeah. If, I've, if you I've want done competition to, I my whole life. It's just this is not. I'm just past that. It's just I have no fire. I've, I'm telling you, if I got in a competition, I would start tickling people. <laughs> I'll do. I'll just be like, this is super fun. So I do that. I do that douchebag thing where. 
I hope somebody from our gym goes and wins gold that yes. I can beat up constantly. Oh, yeah, that'd be Because then I could think of myself, I'd have won that. I would have won, won, won that fucking medal, bitch. <laughs> There's at least two people out there that I know I'd be. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> such a yeah, exactly. I mean, we're on the same page. <laughs> uh, like here's the a, second option. Second option. Oh, go ahead. It's an easier option. Um, there's plenty of Fuji because it's a Fuji um, that's coming to Grand Rapids here, our local, you know, area. There's a Fuji gold medals from Morgan, like a bunch of them, <laughs> hanging on the wall at the gym. You just take one? We take one of those, and we just show the fuck up in a gi. Oh. And if anyone asks, they're like, what weight class? I'm like, the one that went earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the great thing is Morgan wouldn't even notice. No, because she has got so, so damn many, many yeah. of them. Hell, yeah, I'll tell her I'm taking them. A literal drop in the bucket. <laughs> yeah, not a big deal. You put them all on, she falls face forward, I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll break your neck for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. But it's uh, Black Line Jiu-Jitsu. Everybody should come visit us. Yeah, for sure. Um, Al's going to. Come on, Al. I want to roll. Al. I want to roll 100%, bro. I'm just letting you know. I no drove. Flow. I, we drove 90% on the way to you. <laughs> 90, 95. 95-ish. Yeah. Um, ignore that we had other things to do there. <laughs> yeah, that, we came for you. Ignore really, that we were yeah, coming yeah. there for you. Sorry, Morgan. Just kidding. Don't kill me, Morgan. Uh, but yeah, so that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Morgan's going to kill me now. Yeah, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> enjoy enjoy death. For me. Enjoy death. Uh, but yeah, I, I actually I went and got my black line jujitsu tattoo last night. Looking good, bud. Thank you. Um, I did my own little twist on it, so... Chad's going to kill me. Yeah. I like Should it be fun. I think it looks good. Thank you. I like it a lot. My foot's all swollen up because I trapped it in a shoe today at the office. <laughs> you couldn't wear uh, sandals at your uh, place of work. I mean, it didn't really work with the slacks and the tie as well as I thought it would. So they're like, no flip-flops, Kip. I'm like, jeez, people. Whoa. Back off. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, they don't really like bankers with tattoos as much yeah, as well, you would think. What can you do? Yeah. So we also have tap tape. Oh, man, I wanted to talk about that guy. Well, do it. I, no, it's too late. Oh, I already you, started you it. You stole the thunder. Oh. I'm telling you what. Get get finger tape. Get death grip. <laughs> Kip likes fusion. Fusion I'm not, is fine, prick I, boy. I don't hate fusion. I love death grip. I do love the death grip better, but I don't discount the fusion. Don't discount the fusion. Try them don't. both. You, know, yes. you, you like them either way. Well, some people do like that feeling that's more like the tape that you, you can get, a step above like the tape that you can get from a normal sporting goods store. Mm -hmm. Some people like that, so I'm not going to tell them not to use it. Fair enough. But yeah, it'll, it'll help the fingers out, you know, because... Especially when you're when you're new, like when you when you've got some experience and you get your grip ripped off, like you know well enough when it's too late and you let yeah, go and yeah, you yeah. grip. When you're new, you don't have that <laughs> fundamental understanding of what's going on. Yeah, and when you get your grip ripped off, God, that hurts. So God, bad. It's almost like punching your own hand yeah. a lot, <laughs> all at once. <laughs> so, so having a little bit of that support helps you not get the uh, the big moose knuckles. Ooh, God, that looks disgusting. Yeah. Look up jujitsu hands. Oh, okay, yeah, don't get that. In the images on yep. Google, holy shit. Well, it's funny because by the time people start getting the tape, it's, all, it's already stupid. because yeah. my fingers hurt. Yeah. Why don't you just get it now? Preventative. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to prevent everything because, you know, things get caught in yeah, but, and stuff yeah. like that. But come on. I mean, for real. Prevent the bad stuff. You know, just kind of... With some really great product. Like... I have another uh, story for Tap Tape being amazing. Story time. Uh, yes, story. So Tim from our gym um, hadn't been coming too much. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, uh, fucked up my finger. He makes up something about a pulley and a thumb or something. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, whatever. yeah. He was saying his hand was all messed yeah, up. Yeah, it was all fucked up, so he can't really bend it right now. I go, right why are you not taping it? And he's like, hmm. I'm like, do you not have tape? He's like, no. I'm like, fuck. Here's some tape. <laughs> and he was wearing it at the Black Lion Labor Day party. I did see him wearing it. Mm -hmm. I at, didn't talk to him about yep. it, though. No, nope. it was at uh, my house. I yep. uh, had a lot of people. Thanks for showing up. Um, I can't believe none of the listeners showed up. Pricks. Yeah. Jeez. God, oh, ass hats. One job. God. Standing invitation. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he was literally swimming in and out of the pool. That shit stayed on his fingers. And at one point, he walks up to me. He goes, it still works. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's freaking impressive. So I just want to bring that up. Not even kidding. That's just. Good shit. Yeah, good shit. It good stays shit. on. So if it's going to stay on in a saltwater pool, there's salt in your sweat. It's going to stay on. There you go. See? See? Connected. Exactly. <laughs> Connected. 
And it's like I said, you can always hogtie kids and stuff with it. So. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, I think yeah, that's gonna be my go-to. Next time the kids are bad, <laughs> you know, they're getting a little rough housey. I'm like, I'm just gonna get the tap tape and hogtie them. I'll yeah, take he, I'll take a picture and post it. It'll yeah, be fun. Mike from Tap Tape had uh, he wished my wife a happy birthday. I thought that was very Aww. nice of him. Um, Al didn't Mike. way to be an ass. <laughs> Come on, Al. Jeez, uh, Al, <laughs> prick. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, but I thought my wife thought it was really nice, and she was proud of herself. She was like, "I said thank you." I'm like, oh, Aww. you're so nice. Wow. And uh, but then he posted about something right today about rash guards or something. Yes, he did. Uh, about there, the he's, designs, he's, right? Yeah, he's going to have uh, one out of three rash guard designs, and he didn't have any examples, but he had ideas. Yeah, and he said rank. The ideas, so and I supported your ranking. By the way, oh yeah, I just said what Paul said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think that's uh, that's a good choice. I, yeah. th- I think Mike should definitely go with uh, uh, our ideas. It was three, two, one. It looked three, like one, you two. did three, one, two. That was yeah. it. So yeah, we're right. Everyone else doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> they may maybe right. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's get into the pro tip. Kip, Kip, pro tip. Let's do it. The fuck are you doing right now? I want to read. I'm excited about oh, this one. Oh, then fucking read, I guess. Jeez. Dude, dude, this is this is fun. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. I was a, I was a fan. So, Croilers, <clears throat> pro tip. So, the GDs, uh, that's us, asked <laughs> me to discuss the benefits of rolling with people that aren't as good as you or with the newbies. So, if you are more experienced or better at grappling, what benefit could there be with rolling with a white belt? <laughs> it makes us sound like assholes. Uh... Paul and I are Paul and I are so good, bro. I'm asking. <laughs> we need to do a show to get people to understand. This is this is the one time I'm like literally asking for a friend. Yeah, you know literally what I mean? asking I, for a friend. Yeah. We're never gonna pull that off. No, because we're full of no. shit. So. Well, I mean, if, if people know us, I like rolling with newbies. I like helping out. So do you? Yes, yes, so, I do. I, yeah. And and a lot of people do. Some people mm, not their shit. No, not it's so much, it's yeah. The, the, yeah. So it's a good thing. It's good. Yeah. yeah, we're talking about it. All right. Uh, what benefit could there be with rolling with a white belt or a newbie? Well, to do that, we must explain the difference between tough and good. So he's getting it into a little bit of the minutia of of this stuff, so you get an idea of uh, well, the difference between tough and good. We'll get into it. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Yeah, well sir. played. I was I wow. Had, yeah, my thought just you fell were flat. going. Yeah. And it just fell on its face. Yeah. I thought by the time I'd finish a sentence, I'd yeah, have Yeah, something else would come up there. Do you hate when that shit happens? It, yeah. My, it's pretty wow. impressive. We're nah, good at that. I should think about this first. Nah. Maybe write my own thoughts down in the margins. Nah. <laughs> I don't nah. Know. Nah. <laughs> no, let's just that sounds logical and smart. Yeah, we don't do that kind of shit. We're going to totally edit that out. Well, <laughs> we had a comment today that somebody said, really enjoy your flow of the show. Very open flow. I'm like, yeah, that's just us getting distracted. Yeah, you mean <laughs> non-edited. Well, it's funny because somebody said, uh, please stay on topic. And I think he replied, um, yeah, w- we can't. That's just <laughs> not – I understand what you're saying. I'm, I'm not even mad at it. I no, don't no. disagree. No, we like cr- uh, constructive criticism. Yeah. We're fine with that. Yeah. It, it was it was, it was was good criticism. Yeah, and it's, not bad. Uh, and it's, it's fair. That just – boy. Um, <laughs> that being said, I answered it correctly. Yeah. You're dealing with two adult males that have the attention span of a gnat. So yeah, yeah. not even two gnats. One. Yeah. <laughs> so there's shows out there like uh, the Grappling Central podcast, per se. Maybe that's more of your yeah, yeah, there you go. If you want on topic and if kind you, of a snooze fest, boom. Yeah, you want professionalism and yeah, you want right to get there. the point, bam, that's your show. Us, we'll get to it, bro. <laughs> We're going to slow dude, down. Our trip will be fun on the way there. Yeah, maybe, for some people. Kind some people of. just might find us annoying. Who knows? They keep listening, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> they cared enough to write We a have comment. a lot of listeners, so we love I you, guarantee all, some of them do think we're annoying. Yeah, we love you, bro. All right. Yeah, I define sure. someone that is good as someone that is technical, fluid, and consistent. Technical in that someone, oh, that is someone with a broad and deep knowledge base. Watch the episode on it if you need further definition. And by watch, he means listen, because we had a uh, shallow versus deep depth, depth of knowledge. Of yeah. knowledge. Yep, so that's what Which was about probably there. named incorrectly um, because no one really caught what that meant. Huh. <laughs> got a got a got a few from the submission form online oh, that were like, "We can fix it." What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh, uh, hold on. <laughs> it means you know one thing really good, or you know a lot of things not quite so well. Exactly. Um, anyway, 
Uh, anyway, listen to the episode on it if you need further definition. Fluid as someone that can put their knowledge base to good use by connecting all the dots. And in a role can flow in and out of a technique and in and out of other techniques. Consistency is someone that is fluid and knowledgeable in most positions, is steady on a day-to-day basis, meaning they don't have days where they are incredible, followed by days where they are horrible. I feel like I have some of those. I guarantee I have some of those. But I, but I always wonder if it's like, <laughs> when I feel good, it's people like trying new shit, and I'm like, hey, I destroyed somebody. <laughs> and then when I have bad days, it's like they're just using their A game. Like, I, I never know what's going on. I just try to enjoy the process. Does anyone really know, though? Unless, like, you and I know. Like, I know exactly if you're pulling the brother card where you're just trying to murder me. Or if we're having a good role where it's just give and take, give and take. Or, you know, we're literally just making sound effects and rolling around together, which sounds awkward, but it's fun. (laughs) When when you spend a lot of time with a person, I think you understand that. But if you're... Uh, a newer white belt say like you've been there less than six months yeah and then you're rolling with somebody like you or me and you will find yourself inside control trust us it was a gift yeah so don't smash us down there yeah when you find yourself in that position realize that we're letting you into the game and we want you to do technique like you don't need to hold us down with all your might because we just gave you that position so that you could practice what it, you know and exactly so there's you'll there's people that come into it with a great natural sense of things. Um, Amanda is a perfect example of that. Just, she has a real natural sense. So she came in at a level that she could hold her own quicker than let's say my wife. We just had this conversation with Mm -hmm. my wife. So it took more work for my wife to get to the level she's at, which is pretty damn impressive in itself. And so if you're that person, that's a little more adept and you can get more likely to get to side control don't don't just start because I've had it before. You have that guy, they grab you and you let them get the side control or, or even mount. I've let people to mount and they get on top and they just start holding because they don't know any technique. What are you doing at that point? What are you helping at that point? Oh, nothing because <laughs> you're holding onto my head or my arm for dear life. <laughs> it's not productive for anybody. No. So, and it makes me not want to give those yeah, gifts anymore. Exactly. Like, no more I'm Christmas not, for you, bro. And that's exactly what happened. I'm like, okay, well, you're not going to do anything with it. So, and you want to smash me? Okay. Now you're not in Mount anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll never see it again. And you'll never see it again. <laughs> so, there, take it. All right. These are the guys that are so flowy and technical, they make you feel incapable or as if you don't know jujitsu. Uh, looking at you, Crowley. <laughs> These are the guys that seem to not be struggling. They make it look easy with very minimal effort. Generally, good guys are also tough guys too, as they tend to be on the better end of every exchange. Yep. Tough. I define tough as someone that is difficult to roll with. They may be the people that are stubborn, that break the flow, that perform anti jujitsu keeping these definitions simple stubborn would be someone that is likely to muscle and fight everything that they want these are the people that refuse to tap to a submission the people that fight out of things on sheer brute force or fight into things on sheer brute force or size or athleticism breaking the flow would be the people that will stall out or hold on to a position once they achieve it with no desire to improve it and that's that's rampant that I mean, that happens so often. That so I'm not I'd saying lo- at our school. I think everyone. You know, I'd, I'd love to say that's like generalities. A, yeah, I'd love to say that's like a new athletic young man thing. That's right? a bit yeah because we've had multiple. You're right because we've had multiple wrestlers. I was just talking about it with Eric last night. Um, that because he was watching when it happened, I, I was literally the guy was just about to black out because I didn't know I was choking him that bad with a rear naked choke. I was just choke you know choking him just waiting for a tap. I wasn't even pulling. And then I saw Eric's eyes get really big during him. Like, oh, he's going to pass out. And, and he was. He literally almost collapsed when I let him go. Eef. What the? F- because he just didn't want to tap. He would just kept fighting my arm. It's it's funny. Why? It's, <laughs> it's funny when people get like that. And I've done it too, but I started when I was much younger than you. So I was, yeah, yeah I was in my 20s when I started. Now 28, 29, whatever I was. But yeah, you, you get that where you don't, want to tap it's weird it is weird 
Because, I mean, <laughs> I can't say that I've really had that in the sense. I just haven't. I mean, because I, I'll tap to whatever. It's just. Well, because you started as an old man with no fuck testosterone. Yeah. I didn't want to get killed. <laughs> like, that was my whole thing. Like, oh, you, it kind of hurts. Tap, well, tap, tap. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, there's old men with no testosterone that still feel the same way. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm a I man. Mean, I'm not yeah, tapping. Yeah, exactly. Well, for instance, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to throw a, a fellow gym member under the bus. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, Which one? I'm going to go with Brandon. Aw, he's such story. a nice person. Oh, I love Brandon. He's, he's oh, yeah, I know, what you're, I know oh, the story. Dude, this, <laughs> this is, is a perfect example. So, <laughs> this is a perfect example. So, Love you, Brandon. So funny enough, I found a meme on uh, Instagram, I think, and it was one of those things where it was like three pictures and one of the same picture, but they zoom in as you go through the, the meme. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They zoom yeah, in it gets on closer and closer. Yeah. So it was a guy in a figure four toe hold and it zoomed in on the toe that was clearly demolished. Yeah. I mean, it was Foxville. And I sent it to Croyler and I said, I want to do this to somebody. <laughs> and Croyler replies, do, do it. it. <laughs> so, He's so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'll ingest people as far as you know. So we're rolling. <laughs> Gotta keep that nice guy facade. Yeah, so we're rolling and I'm rolling with, with Brandon. And he covered up really good. So I got him a mm-hmm. mount and he's really good at defending. Oh, yeah, he so is. Like, oh, yeah. So I did with the uh, the John Donaher, fuck it, go for a leg lock. So I just spun around and mount and grabbed a figure four toe hold. And I was putting it on nice and slow. Yeah, because you was, don't want to hurt him. No, of Can, course not. I was So I was just putting, you know, mild pressure on it. It's not yeah. tapping, not tapping. So I was, you know, so I was putting on a little more pressure. <laughs> and then he started going for my feet. Well, um, now I'm really going to pull well, on it. Well, <laughs> yeah, so now I, you know. <laughs> I have to. If, if you do that to my feet, my legs explode. Yeah. So I put on a little more torque. And he kind of, you know, you kind of give the grunt tap. Like, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. it's one of those like. Where it's too late. Yeah. That the grunt taps. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, w- yeah. I waited too long. And, that, and that's what he said. He goes, I waited too long to tap. I'm like, God damn, damn it. it. So now I feel like a big pile yeah. of shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm like, I, you know, because I, I, even if it's an accident or, you know, ergo, not my fault. Yes. Right. Because they decided But it is your to, fault. In your yeah. head, it's your fault. Yeah. Well, because I'm the one that caused the breakage. Exactly. Or the ligament tears, as the case may be. So. But that's one of those things where he was saying it was his mistake. Yeah. He waited too long. He thought he could get out of it. He thought he could go for his own and just didn't understand the situation that he was in. Yeah. So maybe a little ego thrown to the maybe a little bit of didn't really understand the situation. But you get that when you're newer, especially when you're big and strong and you can get out of a lot of stuff. He, he can't, he's, yeah. but he tries so hard not, he almost to his detriment, he tries to not use his size because yeah, exactly. he's a taller, yeah. you know, wide shoulder dude. Yep. So that for being a really, really big man compared yeah. to you and I, oh, yeah, yeah, he, for sure. he tries very hard to use technique. Yeah. I appreciate exactly. that. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I love Brandon, but I'll still throw him under the bus for this. Yeah, exactly. Fun. Way to almost hurt your fucking yeah. self. Douche. <laughs> no, he hurt himself. <laughs> yeah. So, oh I, yeah. I, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Way to hurt yourself. Yeah. Douche. So, I, so I text him. I'm like, you know, the next day I'm like, bro, you all right? He's like, no, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. And then I talked to him at the, the pool party. He's yeah. like, no, nah, it was fucked. <laughs> he started <laughs> to finally feel better. I'm like, ah, God. You feel so bad. I do. I held on to an arm bar because the per- like the- I just kept arm barring the same person during a roll. It was just something I was just like, you need to defend this. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And I wasn't pulling on it. Then they kept thinking they were getting out. And I'm like, well, okay, well, I'm going to hold on to it. And then my asshole has drips, all, it slips all the way to the ground. I'm like, oh, he didn't defend that at all that time. Nice. <laughs> I'm like, sorry about your elbow. He's like, no, I'm fine. Rubbing the hell out of it. I'm yeah. like, motherfucker, I'm an asshole again. See, that would be <laughs> fair. Like if I did that to somebody like, say, Eddie, yeah, I would have felt proud of myself for having hurt him. Does well, that make sense? Like there's some people where it's okay to hurt. Well, he's and there's such some an people- <laughs> So, I mean, Eduardo, yeah. kind of a piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, she's Ed. God. Yeah. No geek training motherfucker anyway. Think he's all wrestling yeah. and in shape. God. Oh, I have six pack and I can do yeah, Fuck look, you. Pretty, uh, yeah, yeah. Choke the shit yeah. out of you. I guess he's getting <laughs> toe-holded when I get not sick. <laughs> <laughs> this dude that's talking shit from the sidelines for two weeks. Oh, God, I feel like shit. Paul has been out of the gym dude, for two weeks. It's all I can Corler, do. Corler, get him. It's all Carter, you get him. to go <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah. He's trying so hard to not God. sniff through the oh whole episode. God, this sucks. You gave that shit to my family, dude. Uh, but I love your family. The downfall of compound living. <laughs> exactly. There's years where it's not fun. <laughs> uh, sorry, Jen. 
Oh God! All right. Um, you did that, so much better when you printed them out, bro. Yeah. Breaking the flow would be the people that will stall out or hold on to a position once they achieve it with no desire to improve it. <coughs> Eddie, they <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> totally true. Totally oh, true. Kill me. He's so I'm much gonna fun. kill Eddie too. <laughs> they are the people that get to side mount and just hold on and do nothing. Eddie. The people <laughs> performing anti jujitsu are the people that know enough jujitsu to not make mistakes, but they aren't necessarily trying to win. They just don't want to lose. Generally tough people are good, but that's not always the case. You can be very tough and have complete garbage jiu-jitsu yeah 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 i've I've had those before where you're just uh you're a damn monster like we've talked about this before where some people just have a good feel for where they don't want to be and where they want to be they don't know any jiu-jitsu their jiu-jitsu is shit but they can just throw you like a football and they're athletic and they uh they have good balance they can yeah they can feel when they're gonna be off balance so they can base out quickly so they're not getting swept yeah, it's just, but it's all athleticism. Yeah, it's, they're, oh, so they're God. tough as shit. But and they might know a couple of moves or whatever. They, just like you said, they know enough to yeah. to not lose. Yeah, so they're yeah tough to roll with. Yes, but they're not good at jujitsu. Correct. All right, these are the guys that you know will uh, that you know you will beat that are going to just fight everything and that are more of a chore to roll with than are worth it. Yeah. On the other hand, good guys are guys that you know odds are you're going to lose. But that are fun to roll with. Yeah, so that would be like, uh, I love you, Ben. Like, yeah, he's he clearly outclasses me. Oh yeah, and oh that sounded mean as shit, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> you know, like, you know, he's he's purple belt material, and I got years left. So when I was explaining this before on the show, I think where mm-hmm. when he catches me, it's uh, it's a surprise, and it's like I didn't see that coming. And when I catch in with something, it's like, you know it's coming. Deliberate and I, as and fuck. I, and I probably horsed it a little bit just so I can beat you every now and then. You know, and you're probably working on other stuff. So, Which he yeah. almost always is. He's got yeah. it, he's ADD as fuck, but it's cool with him when he's rolling because he, he never stops trying weird-ass shit. Well, he's the guy that's going to get the proverbial um, breadth of knowledge because he's yeah. always trying new stuff. New shit, so always. He's, yeah, he's, so he's not the guy that's got you know one killer move or one killer no. position, but wherever he finds himself, he's comfortable in. It's amazing. Yeah, it's cool. Love you, Ben. So I think that's what he's talking about here. That is one power-ass couple, Ben and Morgan. I know. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. All right, so when we are becoming more experienced, we may feel that we need to roll with all the good guys and the tough guys because iron sharpens iron and all that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate, I hate that. So I'm what, glad he brought what this sharpens up. marshmallow? Because uh, that's pretty much where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is funny. He goes, but that's not true. Iron does not sharpen iron. Steel alloys and abrasives sharpen iron, <laughs> meaning it's not toughness that makes you tough; it's quality of training. Meaning, while it's true that rolling with good guys will make you good, it's not true that rolling with tough guys will make you good. It will make you tough. But this is a discussion for a different episode. All right, I'm going to pause on that and say, hey, Croiler, I want that to be the very next episode. <laughs> That'll make this real easy. So when you when you uh, text me, what's the show about? It's this right here. Listen so, to minute 33 of yeah. the episode. Yeah, so just uh, <laughs> prior episode, just please. Take a second, write that down. Do your pro novel thing, and then bam. I wonder if he's even listening anymore. Oh, he listens. I don't know. He doesn't give the critiques as much. Or well, does he give them no, to you? No, he gives them to me. Okay. So what he does, he'll he'll email us both, and then I'll get on a separate thread just because, dude, you're... I don't have time. Yeah, you... I you, appreciate yeah. that. You're literally not allowed to have your phone at work, so... No. I have to leave it in yeah. my desk. Not on my desk. Yeah. In my fucking desk. Right. <laughs> All righty. Where was I? Uh, but this is a discussion for a different episode. Uh, the next one. Because of the commonality <laughs> of the saying iron sharpens iron, everyone believes it to be true, which causes the less experienced people or the lower belts to feel that they aren't a good role for you, or you may feel they aren't worth your time, since they can't make you better. What a fucking asshole statement. It is. That's so far. Not from Coiler. That was weird. <laughs> uh, you you I, talking about the iron sharpens iron statement. Yeah, the, yeah that one. <laughs> not nah, Coiler's an asshole. Yeah, no, no not we're that going one. that. <laughs> Coiler's such an asshole, says Kip. <laughs> not Quote, Paul. unquote. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Trying not to cough. All right. Uh, that's so far from the truth. 
To improve any skill, you must go with the following steps and different people will help you through these steps and through this process. Now, this is where it starts getting really cool. I I, I got out of this part. I'm like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And I yeah. didn't understand where it was going until he got to what I'm about to read next. And then I'm like, oh, shit. This is what people need to do, I think, to help the previous episode's game. Like when you're okay. working on improving your game, yep. this is a good thing to incorporate when you're working on that said game. It's just, it's it's gold. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this, and I think it's going to help out everybody. You sure? Nope. <laughs> Number one, learning the theory or concept. Learning the previous study done on a technique. This is your professor or coach teaching you. Two, Understand and comprehend the theory slash concept. Making sure the material from step one is being absorbed efficiently. This is you asking questions and engaging in class. Three, performing the skill that is to be developed. This is drilling. Any partner of any level can do this. Number four, develop skill performance. This is executing the skill in a controlled environment, rolling against minor resistance so that major or gross adjustments can be made. B. This can be done with anyone, but it's easiest to be done when rolling with people that aren't as experienced as you. As even through their best efforts, the resistance will still be very minimal. Gross adjustments can be made without any major repercussions. If you try to make major or gross adjustments against your level or a higher level, they'll escape, and the common thought pattern after a failed technique against someone more experienced is... I can't do anything to them anyway, or I will never catch them, because they will assume the gross error that needed correcting was caused by the move, uh, or was caused by the more experienced partner, not by their own ineptness. That was a good point. Yeah, it is. So, you need the people that you can kind of do whatever you want on. Like, oh, I fucked that up, and I'm still trying to figure, you know, your... uh, you're consciously incompetent at this point. Like, yeah. that like makes, you wow, kinda, that's a good statement. You, I like that. You know how to do it, but your body's not not. It's not muscle memory. Well. So you're you yeah. have to think through all the minutia nuance of a given move. And if you're doing that on somebody that knows jujitsu to a certain level, like you know, approaching yours, mm-hmm. you're not going to land that at all. And if no, you so only, you don't get the mechanics down if right. you don't get all the way through the the technique. Exactly, but you can cheat a little bit and go up oh, nope screw that up go back to this and kind of reset and then put yourself in whatever position you need to be on to perform the move until you get it on somebody that doesn't know what the fuck is going on so you're, you're how, how would you say that benefits the other person though yeah stumped Ooh, um, i have it this but is, this, i have is, my opinion this is all about using white belts right now <laughs> We might get into how it helps them later. Well, you know, go ahead. Actually, I want to hear your opinion on it before I it helps you piss all over you, <laughs> so to speak. What the fuck? <laughs> what did I just walk into? I don't know. <laughs> go ahead, Kip. Uh, I think it helps out with, with, at least it did for me, to see those techniques and to see someone trying to hone it in. And I never understood till later that, the blue belts and the purple belts I was rolling with, that's what they were doing. I took it more as an insult of like, wow, you're so shitty. I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know how to stop it. So it actually built me into stopping that particular move. And it helped out both ways because the better I got at seeing that coming and trying to learn a technique on my own because I don't have enough knowledge to you know really build up the correct technique it made me get better at defending. So, and it made it harder for them. So all the way around, it helps really. Dude. It seems that it doesn't though, when you have it happen. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's a little bit of a uh, quid pro quo, right? So if you will help me work on the shit that I want to work on, I will mm-hmm. help you with the shit that you need to work on. So it's, it's a give and take. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times when I roll with somebody that's newer, I'll, I'll split the roll into half of it. I'm going to try stuff on you. And mm-hmm. the other half, I'll let you try stuff on me. I, I think that's fun and fair and everybody benefits. Yeah, it's just you have to have the right person my, uh, in that same mindset, which yeah. is tough with new people. So here I'm kind of... Because they don't know enough to yeah. fill the other half of the role. <laughs> so here I'm kind of talking to the more experienced people, like people that are blue belts and above. Like, 
here's what I would recommend Mm -hmm. is because you can dictate a role with somebody that's uh, a lower belt or uh, much less experienced than you. So as long as you're the one dictating it, here's what you do. Half the role, let them do what they want to do. The other half the role, you do what you want to do. Whether or not they know what's going on doesn't matter at that point because you're both, you know, you know that you're not Mm -hmm. uh, just destroying them for fun. You're helping them and you're helping yourself. Yeah. Just, yeah, just, I don't know. Yeah. It's tough to know if you should tell people that or it's, yeah, because it's just, everyone's different. That's yeah. a, that's a crazy thing about life in general right. is everybody's different. Everybody sees things differently. Like me to tap is nothing. I don't, I don't give right. a shit. I'm going to make you get it right. Like, I'm not going to let you get, you know, if you have a fucking sloppy Kimura, it's hard to fucking Kimura my arm. Well, if it's sloppy, I'm going to make you get it. <laughs> You're going to have to get it. But, you know, it's, I don't want anybody to take what Paul's saying and go, well, I don't want to get fucked up by these people for half the time. That's going to suck because I don't know what to do on the other end of the role. It's yeah. not what Paul's saying. What Paul is no, saying, what Paul is, is, saying is, um, let me help you get better for the other half of the role. No, what I'm saying oh, is. Oh, no. Oh, no, white, it's changing. <laughs> white belts are to be used by blue belts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ever seen the fucking pecking order? Where it's like, I did. yeah, that <laughs> shit was funny as hell. <laughs> Every, everybody on the bottom of the tree, uh, everybody in the top levels, all, we, all they look down and all they see is shit. Shit. And then people on the bottom levels, all they do is look up and see a bunch of assholes. assholes. <laughs> it's pretty much it in jujitsu. It it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think if, you know, if everybody just cool about it and you can explain what you're doing or not, just be a fun role, be cool, be helpful. You know, you still work on your own stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yep. All right. Number five, honing skill performance. A, this is executing the skill in a controlled environment against increasing levels of resistance and difficulty so that minor adjustments and corrections can be made. B, this is best done with higher levels. This is where you discover the small imperfections in your game. And excuse me, I have just oh, sniffed so here. It does I tried twice. so hard. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick. I'm sorry, uh, so let me do it God. again. This is best done with higher levels. This is where you discover the small imperfections in your game and what nuances need to be fixed. The higher the level, the smaller imp- imperfections that can be discovered and corrected. Lower belts can't do that for you as they won't punish you for the small nuances. So you'll assume you have no small mistakes. Yeah, if all you do is roll down... You're going to think you're great, like we talked about yeah. earlier, like mm-hmm. well, joked about earlier. Like, I feel like a black belt. <laughs> Man, I destroyed that guy. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but you can destroy people with shitty technique and then just just only have shitty technique going <laughs> forward. Yeah, you don't That's what that. I'm going for. All right, number six, review the technique. Looking, uh, looking back at when a technique is most successful and when it's least successful, and trying to see where corrections need to be made so that it can improve. This is all you and uh, or you and your coach. This is troubleshooting. Number seven, redevelop and rehome the skill performance. Upon reviewing the technique, reperform steps four and five for any issues you have encountered. Number eight. Encountered? Encountered. There you go. Encountered. <laughs> Southern. Southern. <laughs> Good stuff right there. Number eight, reflex development. Removing thought from the action, meaning you are now trying to develop awareness for the appropriate situation needed for the specific technique and you are trying to feel the right time. You at this stage are trying to perform the task without having to think about it or at least very minimally. This is aided by everyone. If you are at this stage, you'll be looking to develop this feel for the highest level possible, but to get there, you must work your way up from least level of experience to highest level of experience. So, yeah, in a nutshell, <laughs> shorter version, white belts are to be used. And then once you kind of get the gross agrarious bullshit out of you, like, all right, I can kind of hit it whenever I want. I don't need to make a bunch of corrections, mm-hmm. but they don't know how to stop it anyway. So then you start moving up the ranks. You're like, all right, so what do I need to kind of fix and tweak? And all right, I think I got it here. So yep. now I'm going to move up to people at my level. All right, now I'm getting punished if I make any mistakes. So then mm-hmm. I'm going to work on it at that level for a little bit. Okay, cool. Now, all right, I'm a blue belt. I'm going to roll up to purple belt. So if I can catch a purple belt in this, then I think I, I got it. It's pretty sound. Right. So yep. now I can go back to my coach, and here's where it's failing. Here's where I'm having some issues. Where, what's the best yep. way to get in and out of it? So you kind of get all the nuances around it, and you, you really do a deep dive on on that technique. Yeah. 
then then you kind of rinse and repeat, if you yeah. will. Yeah, then you're kind of taking it back down to the beginning right. and you're starting over. And I like per, it. And pretty soon it's like, oh, there's arm bars from everywhere. I can, you know, you just kind of nail it. Like, it's just right there. You're not yep. thinking through like, okay, I'm inside control. Uh, I'm going to do a, you know, whatever move might be. So, I'll, you know, put arm here. Do, you know, you're not doing all that kind of nonsense. You're just like, you just grabbed it and put it right on. Yeah, it's awesome. I think, it, yeah, yeah, it all makes sense. It's, you know, then they have the um, the other thing I've seen where it's like, it's sharks at the top, and it gets down to lowest, lesser and less fish as you go down. So, like, sharks eat, which are black belts, eat <laughs> eat uh, brown belts, and brown belts eat purple belts, and purple belts eat blue, <laughs> blue right. belts, and blue belts eat white belts. Right. And white belts eat... Nothing. Layman. <laughs> Layman. Oh, there it is. Streetwalkers. Wait for it. That sounded weird. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Everything. Uh, Everything is wrong with that's me. That's fun. So, yeah. So, you basically go from, uh, well, it starts with unconscious incompetence, right? So, that means you don't know what you don't know. Like, yep. I don't even know about that move existing. And then you learn it. You're like, hey, I think I could put that in my game. Mm-hmm. And you, you learn it. You try it. Then you have conscious incompetence. And then you work all the way through until you have conscious competence where you're like, hey, I know about it. I can I can do it easy, easy yep. peasy. Yep. And that's kind of where uh, it's funny because I'm in the middle of all this with, with my, my arm bars that I'm using from the bottom. Like I'm literally working my way up our gym <laughs> trying to, and it's not working as well as I need it to on blue belts yet. So still working. Yep. Well, that's what uh, we were discussing with my, with my guard game Yep. going, you know, first I'd, I'd come back. I'm like, Oh my God, this is going to be so great. And then it would just fail on literally everybody. I'm like, this doesn't work with the shit. <laughs> so what's Quirler doing yeah. teaching me this shit? Well, luckily he made me take notes and I'm kind of going back through them. I'm like, Oh, I hear, I, yeah, literally missed this very important like step. a glaring issue. Oh yeah, so hey, hey, here's a pro tip: take notes. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I suck. I'm su- such a hypocrite. Uh, you really are. Oh it's God, amazing. It's Your hypocriticalness. Oh, it's terrible. Is terrible. Oh, it's it's on fire. Because I tell everyone, I'm uh, fucking notes don't work for yeah. me. Guess who doesn't take notes? This guy. <laughs> I and have, guess who's going to stay the same as he is in jujitsu? This guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not good. So, <laughs> so to be fair, notes are hard. Like my brain hurts trying to take notes. Like, all right, trying to figure out what arm you use, what leg goes mm-hmm. where, where you're pushing on. You know, then you got to reverse everything. So if you're in their guard doing a guard pass, I got to go. All right, my right arm touches their left arm. You know, you know yeah, and I mean? that's so why Crawler says it should <laughs> never be dominant hand or handed notes it's like how the fuck do you not uh, yeah. and then i read his notes i'm like that's how still yeah. can't do it yeah so it's it's tough but because i wrote some notes down and i went back and looked at them i'm like oh that's what i missed and you go like, right back to your white belt rolls and yeah that's why i failed yep so yeah exactly that's what i've been doing i'm like hey this works really good on noobs yes it doesn't work so good on four stripe white belts well now i'm like hey it's like butter on four stripe white belts but it's not working good on baby blue belts. Yep. Then I'm like, hey, cool, I can got I got this on baby blue belts, but it's not working so good on yeah, purple it belts. Yeah, it's just a constant, yep. invo- uh, it's evolving. It's exactly. really evolving that move for you. And I love it. You know, right now it's it's fun being in the position to actually have to evolve a move to right. get better with it be, rather than just going, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm getting choked again. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the first time in my career I've been able to do this kind of stuff, right? Yeah, it's for, really different for yeah, you. Yeah, for for the most part, I just kind of learn moves uh, willy nilly, if you will. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah whatever came your yeah, way, whatever yeah, you video you move, watched, yeah, well, right? <laughs> Shh, I don't watch videos, bro. God, oh, totally bust yeah, on. No, bust no, I would never do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it would be I'd learn this move from this position, that move from that position. I just kind of slowly throw them all together. I'd never worked on my game. And part of doing a game is you got to do it from a position and the work your game through a position. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm finally starting to do that and going, wow, this is really cool. And you can feel it get better. Which is which hard. is really ironic. You want to know why that's ironic? Because you told me to do that. Do you remember telling me to do that? Yep. Why the fuck did you not do that for the last nine years? Well, I, I told you to do it about the time you I figured, figured it out. out. Yeah. So I, I was just fortunate in the timing. I got you. Yeah, you were. I mean, I was a really shitty white belt for seven years. So I got some experience being a white belt. Yeah, sandbagger. A little bit at the end. <laughs> yeah, at, at the end it was, 
fun, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a little lonely white belt. You know, I'm fucking you up. It was. It, <laughs> yeah, I always think it's funny that people want to get ranked up. They're like, I want my next stripe. I want my next belt. They're so excited. And I'm always like, it's it's more fun coming in as a zero stripe white belt fucking up blue belts than the opposite. So for me, it was fun to be a sandbagger. I don't know. Way to set that bar low for yourself. It was great. Yeah. yeah. No expectations. I don't want to fail, so I'm just going to act like a suck. Oh, it was awesome. Way to play. Yeah. Zero expectations. And then I would watch people cry on the way home and be like, this is great. FYI, douche move. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Super douche. Love it. Why don't you put your bucket hat back on, douchebag? <laughs> It was great. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It was Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. Last little tidbit. Um, gotcha. Therefore, it's important to value people of all levels because you can learn from everyone. Avoiding a role because it's too easy or too difficult only hurts you. And if you think someone is so low level, it's not worth your time, grow the fuck up. That was Damn. Fine. Yeah, I know. Damn. Look at the hate. Getting aggressive. Let the hate flow through you. You does, that, he, does the hate ever stop flowing through him? No. <laughs> that's all I see. I like it. Oh, you, wait. That's probably towards me. You were that someone that was so low level that you weren't worth somebody, someone else's time. But they invested in you, not spited you. Don't spit in the face of those that came before you, those that invested in your growth, by thinking you are better than them. You are not. So, yeah, basically, if somebody... Oh, no, I'm better. I oh, totally, yeah, <laughs> yeah, way better, bro. <laughs> Not so, really. Yeah, so that's the thing. Like, I understand that some people are so tipsy, if you were, it's like, Jesus, like, I, nobody can be getting anything out of this, and I want a good roll because we only get to roll for, like, 50 minutes or half hour, whatever yeah, school we're learning. is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whatever it is. So, so you get your warm-up, you got the move, then, you know, the fun part is the rolling, and that's not the biggest part of the class. So when you get... Uh, air quotes stuck with the noob you're like god damn it i want to roll with my buddy ben because that's fun and dynamic and we're getting something out of it and i can go home smiling but instead (laughs) i get (laughs) stuck with you so don't don't be that douchebag because to croiler's point somebody invested that time into you to get you to that level the very least you can do is pass that shit on and do that for somebody else sure it's um I, I think I embrace that a lot. I like to grab any of the new guys for the most part and just roll with them and just show them what things I knew I needed to hear while during a roll. Like um, I was rolling with Jake who just came back, young guy, way too pretty to be in our, you know, mist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, young guy. And uh, <laughs> about part of way through the roll, he goes, okay, it's only four for four times that you could have broken all of my limbs. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's not the point though. He kind of looks at me and I'm like, I'm just doing what I, I need to do to work. And I'm like, pretty soon, you're going to be doing that. Watch. I'm like, here's what you need. Here's what I do. If you like it, try it. And he's like, thanks. And then I arm barred him again. <laughs> yeah. So what what I... But he appreciated that. Yeah. What I like doing is um, I'll let somebody get me inside control safe. Mm-hmm. And then I'll very easily escape side control. And then they'll, I'll let them get me back in side control. And then I'll very easily escape it again. And I'll do that a couple times until they go, how are you doing that? Yeah. I can't, you know, until they ask the question. I'm like, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Here's how you can make your side control so I can't do that. So I'll tell them where to put their hips and where to put their weight and how mm-hmm. not to overextend themselves. And I'll say, now watch me try to do the exact same thing just with your weight the way it should be. Yep. And I'll try the same thing. And it clearly won't work as easy or it doesn't work at all. all and they're like, yeah. oh, and their mind gets blown. Yeah. So, but you got to feel that. That's the thing that I try to get everybody. It's like you may be getting thrown around. You got to feel that to know how the, how it feels when you do it right. Right. It's, it's amazing when it feel when you freaking finally find your base, and somebody goes to sweep, and you're like, nah, eh, and you don't even move. It's not a thought. You're just like, right. holy shit, I'm still upright. <laughs> yeah, but you you've been swept and swept and yeah, swept. Yeah, over and over. You're right. not going. Yeah. The only way to get there is yeah. to be swept 80,000 times. So it's kind of like you you frustrate them by forcing them in the same position because you can do that. Mm-hmm. And then it can even be something that you're working on. So you're yep. working on this particular escape so that you just go in there and you escape and you escape. And, ah, cool. I can do it on a new And I'm out. And then to help them, you show them how to defeat that yeah. thing that you're trying to do yep. so that now you have to up your game the next time that you roll with them. Yep. And that's how you win at this game. Like, it's like I 
Um, like people say, it's like teaching snakes how to bite you. <laughs> it's great. It is fun. It is fun. I don't like snake analogy because yeah, uh, I hate snakes. They're awesome. They're stupid. So, but yeah, by making other people better, you make yourself better. Be- better. <laughs> 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 Paul's still I'm sick. just trying not to snob bubble on the mic at this point. I I'm going to be honest. It's your mic. You can do what the fuck you want with it. <laughs> just big white streaks down. Like, what happened to your mic? Paul had a cold, and uh, he didn't want to sniff, so it just ran and all he, over the and mic. And now he yeah. definitely owns that mic. Yeah, that's nobody else is going <laughs> to use that mic. Yeah. His only like, mic. Oh, that must be Paul's. <laughs> just goo all over it. It's, oh, God, no. Ugh. Why did you say goo? It's just because what else does not look like? Just, ugh. Yeah, my mind went somewhere else, and I don't like it. Oh, you're yeah. sick. You're sick, man. Funny it's your though. fault. I hang out with you. I guess so. You taught me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what, you got anything else that you wanted to go through? Yeah, so... I know you do. Joe Joe Rogan one time was asked, how do you get good at jiu-jitsu? And he said, choke the shit out of blue belts. Basically, you can take somebody of a little bit lower skill than you, but they still know how to roll Mm -hmm. and just practice what you want to do on them. So they can't stop it. And like Croyler was saying, you can, you can fix the, the big agrarious mistakes you're making on somebody and they can't really stop you. So despite what you think, lower belts will help you get better at your game, probably faster than rolling with higher belts because it'll help you fix the holes. The upper belts will help you find the holes the people that are going to fix it are right. going to be the people below you. Yep. It's just lot, true. A lot of time, the upper belts, they're just going to use their game on you. Yeah. So by the time you hit blue belt, people don't really care to take it easy on you all that much. No. So they're just going to impose their will on you, and you're going to be in defense mode. So if you want to work on your game, you need newer people. Yeah. Now, that might not mean brand new. No. But you still have to help them out. Like, don't be a dick. Help out the noobs. But well, get the people that are ta- like... When yeah. we say noob, we're not talking about those guys that are like less than a few weeks in and you're sitting there, they can't even hold their fucking base and well, you're when throwing I say, them around like a rag doll. All right, so when I say noob, that's actually what I mean. To be fair, when I say newer people, I'm like, yeah, you got six months, a year, maybe a year and a half. So See, you, I, you know jujitsu, but I can still do whatever the hell I want to you. Yeah, but uh, I don't think... What I mean by noobs, I agree with that. That they're noobs. I mean, don't trash noobs. All oh, right, I got. This is what I'm saying. Because if you're trashing those guys, for one thing, you're gonna really run the chance yeah. that they're not gonna come back. No. Nope. Then what the fuck have you done to yourself? You've right. run out of training partners. And when I say noobs, it's not derogatory. No, it, it just, just means that you're very new, like you're almost a layman. You're like a, you have a few. Do you weeks, want? But... Would you like baby better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, baby. Uh, you give me a term that's better than noob, and I'll use it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's 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 derogatory, but take it right. It's either that heard, or I call you baby feet. That, yeah, back when I used to play uh, video games, I used to get yelled at. You're a noob. You're a fucking noob. I'm like, I, yep. I just yeah. High five. I, I, <laughs> I'm not good at video games. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I am a noob. My bad. So embrace your noobness. Yeah, exactly. Because you only get to be that way for a while, and then if you suck, God help well, you. Your noobness is cool <laughs> because then you can be. You have the Larry moments, right, where you're like, oh, my God, my mind is blown. You know, the more yeah. you know about jiu-jitsu, the less your mind gets blown. And having your mind blown is fun. It is. It's you know? super fun. Yeah. Ask Larry. I, yeah. It's blown every day. So, yeah, it's embrace, embrace the noobness. I like it. <laughs> embrace your noobness. <laughs> I, uh, sure idea. Embrace the noob. Dude, I have so many. Uh, it's like I've never left the noob mindset because I'm all about just a white belt. <laughs> yeah. I'm all about noobs being you know taken care of uh yeah it's just it's yeah i've embraced it i've never left it just a white belt i like it i like it that's a good fucking shirt and that was lightning oh we got yeah, another storm another what storm the fuck thing. dude you can't hear it oh now you, now can. you can there it is <laughs> oh, that's funny uh no one could hear it on here so enjoy that everyone yeah right so uh, but hey, I just want to go over a few things here because we had we told somebody. Oh yeah, a long time ago. If you ever wanted to have your your school Jim, shout it out, so, shout it out, we would do like. that for you. And uh, under the needle on Instagram, asked us to reach out to shout out to Gracie. How how is that? Baja, Baja, not Bara. No, it's not Bara. But you hear people say it all the time. Yeah. Like hmm. Uh, uh, Hoppers Crossing Victoria. So that is in Australia, I do believe. Down under? Yes. 
Awesome. He said cheers, so yes. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, from Down Under. He says in an earlier one, he's from Down Under. Excellent. So uh, there it is. You got. He obviously loves his gym, so glad to hear it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, get more people to listen to us from there. Yeah, do it. Perfect. Now you want to hear about your gym. You should have told – next time you want to do this, let me know who your professor is because I ain't going to look that shit up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, maybe a few tidbits about your school so yeah. I can make this a little more fruitful. Uh, but Five I love things it. I like about my professor. Yes, is is <laughs> and I he smells hike. really nice. <laughs> I want a haiku. <laughs> Two, he washes his belt. <laughs> Three, <laughs> Three, he only chokes me twice. He has a limit. Uh, but yeah, I love that man. That was really cool. We got another one person that just reached out to say they love what they do from Missouri. Nice, yeah. Oh, Missouri. Yeah. So didn't yeah didn't know there was people there. <laughs> There's like three of them. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So we, we love hearing from you guys. We love uh, hearing the comments our vid- on our video that we released. We got a few comments today. I put it out on Instagram and uh, Facebook Oh, yeah, today. that was our, our first Grappling Dads video. Yeah, and it, it was, was... It was utter horseshit, but it was fun and it funny. It was fun as hell. Yeah, I, I enjoyed doing it. And, uh, it was our, that was our one take. Yeah, that was literally one yeah, take. We're like, good enough. <laughs> S- I'm going to send it. Send it out. Send it. Should we edit it? No. <laughs> right. So um, it's very uh, kid friendly. There's no swearing in that. We uh, worked hard to not swear in that. Like, yeah, that it's was, hard that for was, me. That was effort. It's really that hard for me. Herculean effort. Yes, it really was. Uh, it's it's a it's a great video. Yeah, I think not enough people have watched it. No, it's all right. You They'll sons of it. bitches. They'll watch it now. You better. Yeah, I just look up. Well, we uh, told them about it. They just didn't care. Well, I also had it. But, uh, yeah, the tags on it are all fucked up. Yeah, it's my fault. Just YouTube grappling dads. It'll come up. Yep, it does, actually. Yeah, we have... Tested uh, it. We have two things. We have one where our coach is rolling with Croiler, and that's not even named. It's like got like a G285. Yeah, it's like an image or something. Yeah, was Whatever. Like, I don't even know. Oh, we were testing to see if our page yeah. was there, yeah. and it popped up. We're like, oh, you we'll should, just leave that there. You should name that something else. Potentially, <laughs> I could go in there and yeah, do that. Maybe go I, mean, fix I can that. edit it. <laughs> you don't want it as an image file? Uh, no. <laughs> but, no, oh. it, was, it was fun to make. Uh, we'll eventually do more. The, uh, our only issue is time. Like I said, once we have more time, we'll get get more content. But winter should probably help um, a little bit because it slows down a lot of the oh for sure you know pool time yeah. and family outside time because well it's fucking cold right. here. Yeah, also, yeah. it helps if you have emails with questions or yeah, comments. Yeah, because that's where that started. Yeah. So There's that was multiple people asking that question. Yep. We had a, a lot of people, I don't know how to start a role. I get yelled at for being too spazzy starting a role. What do, what do I do? So, you know, we're... We really helped out. Yeah. So we're like, <laughs> you're asking the wrong dudes for sure. So uh, that's what you get. Yeah. Um, you ask us for video of something comprehensive. That's what you get. But yeah, we like answering emails uh, on the show. Every now and then if it's something that I want to talk about on the show but don't have a good answer i'll uh we i'll see, ask yeah. Croiler, be like hey i don't know the answer to this yeah, which, maybe you can help out and, he, and he's uh gracious enough to do that so we've done that a couple times in the yep. past yeah uh we we appreciate your comments and reviews they all help they help the word get out we appreciate it it's cool and keep doing that and we want to do this more for everybody i know we get a lot of stuff in from you guys and a lot of them are like more content more content, <laughs> more, more time, more time. You know, it was funny for uh, for ugh, a couple of months. We did like two podcasts Jesus, a week, dude. and we're like, I just can't. I burn burned out. out. I yeah. was just like, and if we weren't working, I could do two all the time. Yeah. But I'm working all the time. Paul works way more than I even do. But yeah, it's just fuck. Yeah, once I retire and I can do this for a living, I'll put like a daily vlog. I'll do oh, whatever. We'll It'll do. be great. And I know, and we appreciate. We, I love that you guys are asking for more. It's. I don't think we have anybody out there that we've only had one thing actually, and it was just keep them around an hour because that's my commute. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, we live I think, to serve. I think the worst comment we have is, uh, "You suck less than some of the others. Keep up the good work." <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. I like that one. Like, yeah, that thanks, was, homie. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> I'm crying on the inside. Yeah. I'll try to keep sucking less, bro. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. Uh, for sure not. Like like that one guy uh, we replied to, like, I would love to stay on topic. I really would. Oh, yeah, can't. same here. It's I simply can't. It's not in our makeup. No. 
it, but it's, hopefully you're getting good information. Hopefully you're entertained. Uh, I hope it helps. I really do. Because I, th- I think a lot of this information that we get from Corey Gracie is, uh, it's helped me a lot for yeah. sure. And, uh, yeah, and I think we really, tr- we truly love having you guys out there. We, we are amazed at how many people we have listening to this every week. Um, you guys should all know you're part of something that, you know, was a dream of ours to do. And, uh, and you know, it's, you know, you're helping for f- fulfill a dream here, people. Aw. Aw. I'm not sure of who. I have no words. We'll find someone. Um, <laughs> somebody. This is somebody's dream. Uh, but, yeah, we really want to be able to do more for you guys, but it's just we just got to keep growing. That's yep. it. We're, we're doing really well, but always do better, right? For sure. Um, we do have uh, one last thing from Al at Top Mount. Top Mount is actually going to be a vendor at the Submission Hunters Pro in Oak Lawn, Illinois. So I do believe that's where Morgan fought her super fight. Um, oh, yeah. You know, um, I think it's probably in the same place. Uh, so it's September 15th. So make sure you get out there. He, they're going to be out there. They all have all the shirts out there on display. They don't short anything. So they don't really pick and choose what they bring out from what I've seen on their uh, from their posts from other vending spots they've had. Yeah, go so, buy all their shit. Yeah, br- buy all that shit. Yeah, it's good. Tell stuff. them Grappling Dad sent you. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, You'll pay double. They but, might uh, punch you it. in the throat. It's, <laughs> it might happen. Uh, watch, um, watch their demeanor just change from, oh, hey, uh, what? Fuck. Definitely. God, Jesus. Yeah, so, oh, that's another word of advice. Don't tell Corey <laughs> we sent you. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> you may not get to leave the gym that day. Well, the grappling <laughs> dad sent me, and they said your knee and belly really sucks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they said that, but yeah, could you try it? to tell that to you? I don't know. <laughs> And wrist locks are dumb. I, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's all I took from the show. <laughs> I'm such a piece of shit. I gave Croiler so much hate and vitriol over wrist locks. For so long, For so dude. long. I'm like, you're a fucking cheater. And now that's like, I find myself going, I could just do a wrist lock. And it's fun. You're such an asshole. Oh. Uh, you know what? It's uh, I've came over to the dark side so hard and fast on that. I'm like, these are fun. <laughs> <laughs> these are super great. It's my new favorite shit. And the the thing is, I've tried. I don't mind. I've never really cared. I never really did wrist locks, but I have kind of got there. I never push on them because I I I don't. I'm not good at enough. At them, but I do get to the position. I'm like, I could hurt you. <laughs> and I just let go because like, I may not know how to stop hurting you. So I'm just going to let that go. <laughs> I think it's great that people get embarrassed when they get wrist locked. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, well, that just makes me want to do it more. So when you're getting wrist locked, 90% of the time, you look like you have your T-Rex arms. That's a, it's not the best look. <laughs> oh, God, you hit my hand. Like, this isn't <laughs> even a real submission. All ah, right, you win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not passing out or anything, but you win. So uh, it's it is, so much worse than heel hooks. It's great. Oh, dude, you're such an asshole, I though. Because you reamed him for months. I, yeah, I did. I think you reamed him when he came on the show. I did. I did. About I it. Him, and then you're I just a, a filthy cheater. Yeah, and like a week later, he's like, wrist locks are fun. Uh, Don't yeah. tell anyone. Yeah, it's like, all right. <laughs> it, was, it was like my dirty little secret. Like, it was an accidental wrist lock. Like, I didn't know, I didn't try to do that. Yeah, he's just fighting it like a drug addict. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's nice. No, I don't know no, where that's, no. I don't know where that no, wrist lock you, came you, from. You, that's you, weird. Yeah, you gave me the wrist lock. I didn't have a choice. I mean, you wrist lock yourself, essentially. Right. Yeah. Not my fault. It happens. Douche. And I'm like, oh, this failed, but there's the wrist. <laughs> so is it really a failure? No. Well, yeah, and that's, I'm, I'm starting to see it when I miss my arm bar. Like, uh-huh. they pull out, I'm like, oh, uh-huh. <gasps> or, no. Or the American and Camarillo. Yep. I'm like, oh, just oh, slip yeah. up here a little bit and just pull. Yeah, just make it easy yeah. on myself. It's great. Asshole. It's fun. I'm a dick. Croiler, wrist, wrist lock the shit out of him like 80 times next time. That's all I want to see out of you. No loop chokes. No neon belly. Wrist lock after wrist lock. <laughs> yeah, so I was trying to wrist lock Croiler because that works out well. <laughs> so cute. And, uh, yeah, so I I thought I had it, and then then it slipped, and I thought I had it, and then it slipped, and he was like explaining to me like why, why, you suck? why I suck. I'm like, works on white belts. <laughs> That's why we love white belts. It makes me feel good about myself. What an asshole! You're wrist locking <laughs> white belts. Goddamn right I am. What a fucking tool bag. <laughs> well, you know they like, don't even know that's a thing. <laughs> uh, they do when I'm done. <laughs> what the fuck did you do to yeah. me? Wrist oh, lock the fuck out oh, of you, oh, son. Oh, by the way, you're not allowed to do that. I'm probably not either, <laughs> but I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> what a dick. Yeah, you have to have 10 years in the sport 
or be a black belt to do, <laughs> to do a wrist flex. That's my rule. I just made it up right now. It's a, it's a very applicable rule for you. Yeah, yeah, it works for me. <laughs> it's amazing how that works out for you. I like it. <sighs> just like don't go after my legs rule. They'll explode. I'm old rule. <laughs> so, so you can go after my legs. If it's a knee bar, I'm good because it, that doesn't explode my leg, oddly enough. Huh. You'd think it would. Yeah, so I'll, he has I'll, bad knees, people. I'll, I'll tap quick to a knee bar, but those things hurt the back of my knee. Like it's the front yeah. of my knee that that really gets jacked, and it doesn't it doesn't torque on my leg to make mm, my meniscus mm, mm-hmm, flip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, old man. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, old no, man. No, no, that's good. Broken. So so knee bars, I'm okay with. Um, the straight ankle locks, I'm good. Figure four toe holds. Uh, as soon as you get to position, I will tap out quick. Yes. but I don't I don't mind when that gets slapped on because I'm just like it. Hey, good, but if you Get me in the heel hook position. That's when I can, that's when the problems start. Because <laughs> my knee will just explode when I'm in the position. You know what I mean? It's like you're not doing anything. You're just like almost like you're reaching for it, and, and your leg and my legs like blow up. Boom! It's all she wrote. You're so old and broken. Oh my god! I thought I was old and broken. So here's something funny. So I got I got arthritis on my knees, and I've yes. been listening to uh, some Joe Rogan as I do. The ones that seem pertinent, right? Yeah. So they had uh, Jordan Peterson on there. He's he's fascinating. So I listened to he him. He is. And he was talking about the carnivore diet and how it helped his daughter with her arthritis. Now, her arthritis was so bad that when she was 17, she had an ankle and a hip replacement. Holy shit. Yeah. So her arthritis was fucking terrible. And she went on the carnivore diet and after a bunch of... Uh, trials and tribulations and she eventually got to the carnivore diet through a bunch of other stuff yeah okay and she goes within a relatively short period of time my depression went away my arthritis went away my uh skin problems went away and she goes it's you know i'm off all my drag drugs so i thought <laughs> drags drags i'm off all I'm my, off drags. All my drags <laughs> it's uh wow yeah it's getting late that, that and i got snot just so clogged up yeah. in my nose i can't speak right but yeah so i, I contemplating contemplating trying it for a couple of weeks man but i love cake yeah and just yummy goodness and carbs so much yeah it'd be like, tough oh man i'm a bread know. eater man well, a- they they claim that your cravings go away after a very small period of time <sighs> I, mean, I don't know if that I short get- period of time man <laughs> that's got to be like hours <laughs> it's the- oh god i don't know it'd be so tough like let's say i went to your party and there's like cake and there's these chips and there's oh, everything yeah. and i'm sitting here like you know chewing on some beef jerky or something yeah, it's like, <laughs> like, I just that looks amazing <laughs> uh, i don't know if i have the willpower to try it but i i uh i'm very intrigued so maybe one day we'll see i won't make it nah, i don't know i i'm so far i'm talking a lot of shit you so, do that a lot though uh yeah well, you, you know, well, you hear something, you research it, then you want to do it. That's Paul. So it's funny because I researched uh, carnivore diet. So I actually listened to about five different podcasts on it. Looked up a whole bunch of websites, and I'm like, you pull the poll. I pull yep. the poll. I mm-hmm. I uh, I uh, just dove right in there. I'm like, yeah, it seems more legit than not. I'm like, all right, I'm you know, I'm not scared of it. Like when I first heard about it, it was on the Joe Rogan, but it was yep. months ago with uh, Sean Baker. He's been doing it for two years. He's uh not, not a power lifter, but he does a bunch of strength feats and stuff. Okay. But, dude, he's an old man that's still breaking records, and he's shredded as fuck. And all he does is eat steak. Steak and salt and water. That's it. I can't do it. No, I don't think I could either. But I'm like, well, it's kind of, it What's sounds... What's the keto diet? diet uh, so keto is... Is it keto? Yeah. I thought so, it was K-A-T-O. Is it keto? I have no... Uh, K-E-T-O. Is it? Okay. Yep. I don't pay that much attention to that. So, diet, the, so the keto diet is similar, but you can have greens and carbs. I was going to say they have veggies and shit yeah, in there. Yeah. So, um, see, I can see that one more so. Not with my kids, though. Like, just having kids because I'm not going to make different meals for me and I would have to. Yeah, I would have to do that. Like, I would have to be like, because uh, Michaela Peterson does, I, just, I think, just steak. Like, one particular kind of meat and that's all she does. Is Jordan Peterson from On It? Is that no? No, the Jordan Jordan Peterson's a dude from Canada that got can, in a yeah, bunch of trouble it, because he didn't yeah, want yeah, to yeah. use the right pronouns. Yep, I remember that. Yep, yeah. Yep. So uh, who's appar- from on it? Who's on it again? Uh, Good lord! Shit! Damn it! That's just one of those things that's going to bug me. Oh yeah! Someone tell us. I was trying to think of God his name the other day it. too. Really cool guy. I've heard him interviewed a few times. Very down to earth. Uh, his uh, 
Fuck. Girl, his girlfriend is uh, Miss Two Jits. So she was yeah. Miss America, and then she uh, got into jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Uh, I don't know her name either. <laughs> Damn it, all the hell. <laughs> but I don't miss We Jit. suck. So close. Oh, I mean, so you, got, you got a computer right there. You can just look up on Fuck it. Fuck that. Let's go. Uh, anyway. So, yeah. So I've been uh, contemplating that. I'm intrigued by it. and So now I'm, I'm on the fence whether I want to try it or not. I don't know. Well, I mean. Hey, like, share, comment. Give me your thoughts on it. Like, has anybody tried it? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> you know, is it How terrible? How terrible it is. Yeah. We have Remember, you, ha- you have to have kids. Yeah. To, well, a lot of our uh, listeners do. Yeah. Well, the nice thing with me is I work so damn much. <laughs> I'm never home. I can just bring in all the work. <laughs> you know, pe- people looking at me like, are you uh, eating a steak again? Yep. Yep. It's all I have. See, I would probably do like uh, chicken, fish, pork, steak. You know what I mean? So I do all meat. I just didn't, I wouldn't do all one kind of meat because that's cool too. Aubrey Marcus. Aubrey Marcus. That's God right. darn it. That was Bam. pissing me off. Cool guy. Yeah. Cool guy. He uh, used to, he does a lot of sponsorship with uh, Jason Ellis. And okay. I used to listen to him. So. Gotcha. I like the way he got in, uh, involved with Joe Rogan, like how he yeah. made that happen. Yep. It was a fascinating story. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, it was sweet. He did it right. Also, another cool story I was talking about the other day. Now we're just tangenting all over the place about other podcasters. Uh, the, sh- the show is done, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, we just got a few seconds. You know, Enjoy. Why not? Um, Jocko Williams. Willink. I know. Willis? Didn't let me fix it. Yeah, I know. I said oh. it wrong. Uh his story about how he got to where he is with the geese, everything. Oh. Awesome. Awesome. There's an episode that he basically goes over how he started everything. Right. Where he came from and how he started origin. And fucking amazing. He is a fascinating. Amazing. Like he's one of those guys that no matter how hard I try, I'm always going to feel like a big piece of shit. Yeah. He just does fucking he everything. Is. He like holds a world on his shoulders. He's that guy. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, it, it's unreal. So yeah, look up uh, Jocko Willink on YouTube and yeah. look at some of his motivational stuff and how. Yeah, we, and I'm know. not a motivational speaker no, we're not, type yeah, shit. That's not my kind yeah. of thing. So I listen to his story behind it more than anything else. And his story because he started Origin Geese, and he literally started it because he hated the pearl weave. I do believe it was whatever weave that he was. I'm guessing it's pearl weave because it's the most prolific one out there, uh, and he didn't like it. So he's like, I want to weave my own shit. How do I do that? Oh, no one does that in the United States. Well, I want to do it in the United States. Well, no, actually, he didn't start the company. No, he didn't start it, but yeah. he was the one that got involved with it. What's the guy's name? It's his that, buddy that's on there. What the fuck's... No, he didn't start it either. He actually became an investor in... That's it, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, where they started was a fucking... They found a broken down machine in oh, an old fucking yeah. an old warehouse. Yeah. And we're like, yeah. And he just saw... It something in that he's like fuck yeah i see what yeah. you're saying yep. do that here's my support and yep. my money fucking cool yeah that he was even in there to do that to be like yeah fucking do that who does that cool people yeah he does fucking everything i don't like his show but i like some of his shows yes but, but he does uh, he does a lot of book reviews which are cool he um, reads he reads a lot well he and well, it's he, dry well so he he kind of does the same thing that we do but without the humor yeah, so yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll he'll read uh, uh, part of a book and then he'll give his thoughts and opinions on the book and then he'll go back to back to the book, back to the book, back to the book, <sighs> back in my life. And he has this deep, yeah, manly, yeah, fucking, whatever, yeah. Like, he sounds like a dude. We sound like Beaker and fucking oh Kermit God, the Frog. Yeah. Uh, and it, but the and the other problem I have is his his I call him a sidekick because he doesn't say nearly as much. I don't even know what his name I don't is. Know his name either. But he sounds just like Jocko. So I'm like, which one's talking? Oh, no. You're talking about the guy that owns Origin. His yes, sidekick yes. on the show sounds like another No, yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever they, he has a guy from Origin on, I'm like, who the fuck's talking yeah, they, right now? Yeah, they both sound... They yeah, both they both... Are, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're fucking Batman. Two of them <laughs> fucking on the show. Yeah, they, they both sound like Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Buy a fucking gee. No, I, I actually like his show. I like what he does. I love what he stands for. Like, yeah, what, for what sure. What that Where man he came represents from. Yeah. is just... it's. Fucking it's, amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love how that's what we're talking yeah. about right now. <laughs> no, yeah. We're like, our show, it's okay. You know, you know, we do our best, but do Jocko. Uh, I don't like his show as much. No. I like our show. Our show's no. fucking I'll, fun. I like to giggle. He gets into dark shit. Yes, he does. Like we we've got into ooh, we've touched on dark a little bit, but we're not a dark show. No, we're no. uplifting. <laughs> yeah. Uplifting. I think that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I think I used the wrong word. <laughs> maybe maybe silly. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're looking for. That's but, a stretch. Yeah, so I think it's great. Uh, we got some really cool shows coming up, guys. Uh, not going to tell you because when I do that, 
They take three months to happen. Right. Then you guys get bitchy. But hey, we already told you what the <laughs> next show is going to be. So Croyler, maybe just uh, yeah, Croyler, don't let yeah, us know. Now you know. Yeah. If it doesn't, it's Croyler's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Croyler. Uh, check. All right, I'm out of here. Bye. See ya. Yeah.